Well, this was bound to happen. Do any of you guys have Comcast out there? Well, you may want to pay attention to this video and the article linked in the video description because Comcast is testing out, toasting, as in figuring out where they're going from the future, for the future. They're testing out uh, in several cities in the United States uh, a program or just a way of calculating, tabulating how much data you use through, for their Xfinity Internet service. And what their grand scheme is, is to create a cap system for their internet service where you get 300 gigabytes of data to use every single month. You know, you do whatever you want with that data. It's yours. Use it. You're good. If you go above that 300 gigabytes of data, you're going to be paying a extra fee per every 50 gigabyte block that you use. Now, uh, the reason why they're doing this is crystal clear to someone like me, and that is they're doing this as an extra source of money. Now, they're trying to paint this picture of when they're talking about this saying like, you know, it's not really going to affect that many people. You know, the far majority of our customers don't use anywhere near 300 gigabytes of data per month. Now, that's all well very true because to put it in simple terms, person A versus person B. Person A streams Netflix every day, streams video games every day, plays video games online, uploads 10 different walkthrough videos of the video games every day, watches YouTube videos, watches internet porn incessantly because they stay at home and beat off all day, versus person B that checks their emails, you know, watches a, a YouTube video here and there, you know, maybe streams a Netflix movie every now and then. But person A uses about 30 gigabytes a day versus person B that might use about 3 gigabytes a, a day. Person B is more the typical person out there, and I'm not going to disagree with what Comcast says. I, I guarantee more than 90% of people probably fall under that 300 gigabyte range. But the thing is, from Comcast's perspective, and to play devil's advocate, why shouldn't they charge a higher premium to person A who is using, in some instances, 10 times the amount of data than person B, yet person A and B are paying the same price? Now, I personally don't want to see this happen because, frankly, these companies make enough fucking money as it is that they don't need to gouge the over-excessive users that use up more data, again, those person A's that use up way more data than all the person B's. But at the same time, I don't blame them for doing this. I'm surprised they haven't done this sooner, actually. And with the, with the advent of higher definition videos streaming from places like Netflix and YouTube and higher data content streams from pretty much everywhere, that 300 gigabyte data cap is going to fill up real quick. And before you know it, it's going to be a lot more than just 10% that break that, that 300 gigabyte threshold. And they're going to be like, oh, well, that's what they set the cap at. You know, you guys, more people are breaking the data cap now. And it's going to turn into something where more and more and more people start paying that extra fee. Um, yeah, this is just, I, again... I would have no problem if this was companies like struggling to break even, but fucking Verizon and Comcast are having no trouble paying the fucking bills right now. In fact, they don't have bills. What am I saying? They don't pay bills. They receive bills. Bill payments. Anyway. Oh, well, have fun, Comcast users, because I have a feeling this is going to be the trend that is going to take hold. And if it shows in the bottom line that Comcast is making exponential amounts of extra money, Verizon's going to do the same, Time Warner's going to do the same, all the other cable companies that offer a internet service, a broadband internet service, are going to do the same as well. you got to be kidding yourself. You think, woo, good thing I have Verizon. I have Verizon Fios. You know how fast I suck in fucking data in this house? Oh, I guarantee I break that 300 gigabyte threshold. I'm streaming movies, uploading YouTube videos. Hell, 
uh, some of these YouTube videos I upload are just two gigabytes alone because I do them in high def. Anyway, um, I don't compress the files. So uh, anyway, um, oh boy, this is the this is the way things are going. I mean, it works for the cell phone companies, so all the cable companies are going to be like, yeah, let's do that for our service too. And again, the whole devil's advocate thing of saying, hey, you know, why should person A pay the same as person B when person A uses way more data? Um, again, I can understand them seeing it from that perspective, but I really don't think it's necessary at all to do that. I mean, just r r if you have to raise the price of everyone's internet service by 50 cents, just add some ridiculous fee that's on our bill. I'm like, where'd that fee come from? I don't know. Who cares? It's 50 cents. That would more than cover the, you know, the cost of their, the, them having to buy more servers to store all their data on or put extra lines in and upgrade their shit and whatever. Anyway, this is the way of the future, guys. I'm sorry to break it to you, but this is the way things are just going to go. Have a good day, everyone.